Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I'll show you the game played by Andre and Camille. And this beautiful game complete in only 17 moves and with a very amazing pawn attack and move and have a pawn sacrifice at the H file. And let's see how the game play. The game start with the pawn to e4 c6 and now the white play d4 and d5 and here you have the karo khan opening and after this the pawn at e takes d5 then the c capture back and now the white continue to develop with bishop to d3 then the knight to c6 and here the black trying to attack the pawn therefore the white just move a c3 pawn to protect the pawn and after this g6 was played and trying to push the bishop to g7 and attack the pawn and we have another pawn to d5 to attack the center square so after this move, this is the first five move, and you can see that the position is equal for the both sides. And the game continues with the bishop to f4, and now bishop to f5, and continue to attack the bishop and go for the exchange. And in this game, the white can play a bishop capture the bishop then if after this takes the bishop then you can just develop the knight and this the white will be a slightly an edge or slightly better because now the pawn at g file is open and this will disallow the black king to castling king side so in the actual game, after bishop f5, the white do not trade off the bishop. Instead, the white play a bishop to e2. And with this, the black is having an edge and with a very strong bishop controlling the square at b1 to h7. And after this, e6 was played, continue to develop and allow more of the pieces to able to move actively. And now after this, knight to f3 and bishop to d6 to attack the bishop at f4. And after this position, the bishop just capture the bishop at d6 and here the position is equal and here the queen just captured the bishop and now the white go for a short swing and the black just continue to develop with the knight knight here you have the first 10 move with the black hash and h in this position so the game continue with the white trying to play a uh, knight to a3 then knight to c2 and to bring out the knight towards the center and then they bring the this knight to e3 So after this position in, in the 11 move, the white just moved knight to a3. And at this equal position, here come the beautiful move and the amazing idea from the black by launching a pawn attack at the h file. So this start up with the pawn launch and attack with the h file and continue to attack to h4. And with this pawn can continue to attack to 
H3 and just capture the pawn at G2. And if the pawn push to G3, capture the G2. H rook to be active in the game. So, in the actual game, H5 was played, and now the knight moved to C2. Then the knight continued to play the knight to G4, and here the pawn H3 to attack the knight. And after this, bishop to E3 was played, and this is first one of the sacrifice and here is very interesting and if you use the pawn to capture the knight after the pawn capture the knight and the black will be better after the pawn capture the pawn and here the bishop can just capture the knight and the queen will attack at h2 and it will be a beautiful checkmate. So if you move the group to e1, then the black will just continue to go for a long castling and the black can just can double up and attack the king checkmate with the h1 rank. So here you have a very beautiful idea after the sacrifice of the knight and the best way to prevent the idea for the black would be the knight to c to e1 and protect the knight and the capture of bone can be captured in the later stage but in the actual game, and if you use a bishop to capture, then the knight will just capture back, and here the white will be solid in the position and will be slightly better. So, in the actual game, after bishop to e4, the black, the white play a g3. And this is uh, one of the mistakes that the black played and which allowed the continuation of the h4 pawn to attack. So after this, h4 was played and this pawn trying to attack the pawn. And after this, the queen will capture the pawn and it will be a strong threat and will be well winning. So, H4 was split and this is a sacrifice of the pawn and with attack and if you use the pawn to capture the pawn then the bishop will just capture the knight and the queen will go to H2 and will be a checkmate so for example to capture this then the bishop will just capture the knight and here you allow a simple checkmate and h2 and the king do not have any place to move so if you use a bishop to capture then you have a queen to h2 and it will be a checkmate and if you use the Rook to move away and the queen will just go to h2 to check the king and now the king move inside then you have a uh, two idea of checkmate such as capture the pawn and checkmate or you have a queen to g2 and checkmate as well and also you can move to H1 and this will be a checkmate as well. And if you move the knight to capture the pawn, then the pawn will push forward to attack, and now the knight 
cannot move to any good move if you move the knight to g2 then the black will continue to play such as a knight to f6 and the better chance for the white to play would be a knight to d2 then after this the knight can just capture the f2 and here the rook capture again then the queen will just capture the pawn and continue the attack and if the king move to f1 then the queen will just capture the pawn and here the black will win 3 pawn for the action of the knight and here the black will be a clearly better in the position however after the h4 the white capture the knight h takes g4 and this is a tactical blunder and this allow the black to be clearly winning and the continuation after this is the pawn just capture the pawn and continue the attack after this the white continue to play a knight to e3 and trying to protect the pawn from moving forward so after this knight to e3 and the black continue to play a g2 and this is another great move from the white and and after this position the black is clearly winning and with the, the strong attack of rook to h1 and check the king and allowing the queen to come to h2 and check back the king so after this game the white just capture the pawn and after this position the black win and mate in three i'll give a couple of seconds to figure out how the condition of the black to move and win in three well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the brilliant move that the black play and win and the condition is using the bishop to capture the knight and after this the queen are able to checkmate at the h2 square and if you use the pawn use the bishop to capture it back then the queen will go to h2 and it will be checkmate and if you move the knight to h4 then the rook will just capture again and the checkmate at the, this h1 is cannot be of what and if you just capture the bishop then the queen will again go to h2 and checkmate and back to this position after the pawn takes h3 and if you move the bishop such as and this will be uh, prevent the check but however the situation for the white will be very difficult to play and the black is clearly winning and here after this the black can just continue to sacrifice the pawn and here the rook will come to h1 and check and also again with the queen at h2 checkmate and if you move the pawn to g2 and if 
the white just capture the pawn then the queen will just come to g2 and checkmate the king and the knight cannot capture it back because it's been pinned by the bishop and if you move the in this position if you move the pawn just capture the pawn then you have the queen just capture the pawn and it will be a checkmate as well and if you move the king forwards then the rook will come to h2 and check the king and again the knight cannot capture the rook as it's being pinned and after this the king move to g1 then the pawn at g can capture the pawn at f2 and check the king and here you can see that again the king has no place to move and the only way is to use the root to capture it and after capture it now come again the queen to g3 and check the king so you have a very beautiful idea to checkmate and now if the king move to f1 then you have the queen just capture the root and it will be a checkmate and if you block with the root and here the simple the queen just capture and it will be checkmate so the bitter move here come with the pawn at h4 attack and continue to storm forward and with this thank you